Hi everyone, so I'm just going to give Facebook a moment to do its thing <clears throat> and check that I am live and showing up in the right place for Anna and the Direct Selling Success Support Network. Yes, I'm here, which is amazing. So I'm just going to give it a moment for you guys to be notified that I'm live on Facebook. So today I am talking you through um about what Trello is hi Anna thank you so much for this opportunity I'm so excited because I love I love Trello and I've, I'm actually learning some new stuff about it and trying some new things and yeah really really excited and um, so I'm here talking about Trello today what it is um how you can benefit from you just using it and how to actually start using it hi Tracy um, how to create boards, how to create cards, and how to use the cards feature. So very much, are oh, you welcome, Anna? I'm so excited. Very much the Trello basics for beginners. And then we, I'm guessing you guys know that Anna Green has a lovely membership for um, growing your direct selling business. And I'm going to be doing a talk in there for her as well with the next steps because it's too, it can be too overwhelming. Oh, I've just realised. Look at it mess behind me i've got my um order just thrown on top of my my um machine which i need to sort out today actually um so um yeah so in her membership i'm going to be doing a talk as well which are like a bit of a further in depth more about creating crms and other systems that you can use for your business which is going to be so good for direct sellers so obviously if you're not in a membership you want to be in for that so i'm going to introduce myself while we just allow facebook to let everybody know that i am um, um live so i'm danny and it's still showing up as creative business marketing coach which is annoying because i've literally just changed it um i was a creative business marketing coach i am a business coach still however i'm a little bit different so i have got you can see here <laughs> that i'm very creative um i've got machines behind me as one there and one there um i run a business called the neat keeps it where i help business owners uh, not business owners where i help women mums grandmas granddads too um families to create precious memories from loved ones clothes and i turn clothing into beds cushions and blankets i've done this business for eight years absolutely love being creative and doing things like that so you can see here that's actually one of my orders it's a memory blanket so i need to lay it out iron it and get in touch with my customer and send her a photo to come and collect they're actually from preston and i'm in leeds so they come all that way to get this made and some cushions as well which is an amazing um project um in my sixth year my business took off it really took off i became obsessed with business i was doing all the right things or i thought i was so i invested in my myself um with a business coach actually i didn't i invested in um memberships courses things like that implemented them and i implemented what i learned and within four months i turned my business around and when i did that i started realizing that i loved sharing what i knew with business and how i'd done things my way because on this journey i realized very very quickly that whilst i was a mum of three and i used to run networking events i used to work for the nhs and i had my existing keepsake business i realized that I needed to be organized because there was no way I could manage all of those things. So I had essentially three jobs with my business, NHS and um, networking events. Then I decided I wanted to be a business coach um, and I figured out really fast that I needed to be organized. My husband then got an operation, which held things like was really, really hard because he's got a disability and it was just crazy crazy visit but i really wanted to help people and i soon realized that within my own business things needed to be organized and i've always been quite organized anyway and i needed to create some systems that made things easier so working smarter not harder a part of this has been trello trello is amazing for business management for creating projects um, for storing content lead you know controlling your lead generation so many things can be done in trello and it's played a huge part in me creating systems and being the queen of organization because it's what i call myself as a business coach now because i focus on the systems and strategies and working smarter not harder so today i'm going to take you through trello i'm going to show physically show you how to do it um, and play around with it for you so if you've got any questions along the way feel free to share them and i will respond 
and try and help as best as I can. So Trello, if you don't know what it is, or maybe you've heard of it, but you've not actually had a look at it, it is a free app. And you can use it on your desktop and you can use it on your mobile or your tablet, whatever device you use, which is brilliant because what it actually does is it connects so that whatever you do on your desktop will show on your phone as well or whatever device you're using. And it's really good that you can use it on the go. This is the best bit. You can use it on the go. It's like having an advanced notes app within your phone. So like if anyone ever writes stuff in their notes, you're probably going to convert to Trello once you start using it and fall in love with it. Personally, when I started using it, I was a bit scared. I didn't know what to do with it. So I, I created one and then did nothing with it. But no one had shown me what I could do. So hopefully showing you some of the things you can do today, the basics of it, means you can go away and set it up for your business. And if you do, please come back and show me an Anna and share it in the comments because I'd love to know what systems you set up. I love when my clients do this and they show me their business plans and project management and stuff like that. See, our room systems, it's, it excites me. I'm such a geek. So Trello is an app that you can use for your business management. There is not just one thing that you can do on there. You can do all sorts of things, which I'll show you some of. Um, and I've got absolutely loads of boards. So I'll show you some examples with my boards as well. Um, if you want to learn how to set those up, then you need to be in the success lounge where I will be showing you how to do those specific boards. So how could you, you actually benefit from using Trello? So Trello, you can benefit because you can have everything in one place and you can be more organised, which means that you can keep on top of your business management easier. You get to work smarter, not harder. It's also available for if you have a team, you can have team boards where other members of your team can access it. So it's really good for direct selling businesses. It's good, great for any business. Every business owner should be using something like a, tr a Trello system or ClickUp. ClickUp's another option that, that I just can't understand. I don't understand it, to be fair. I'm, my heart lies with Trello. So you can use it for business management, team management. So you can have personal boards, boards that you share. All you have to do is add people into them. And it's really, really handy then um yeah i'll show i'll show you through it anyway so how to actually start so first thing is you either want to download the app on your phone or open it up on your desktop and create an account it's completely free and even the membership um that you sign up to which allows loads of advanced automations is not expensive i've just signed up as a premium i think it's premium member and it doesn't actually cost a lot my husband's just come in with a drink thanks dan um so it doesn't actually cost a lot. Um, it's really good. You can you can get so many advanced features. But for you guys now who are just getting started with Trello, I would just recommend the free version. I've just had a pop-up on my laptop. Don't you just love when that happens when you're live? No, I don't want to sign into Microsoft One. Right. So I'm going to take you into Trello now and show you actual, actually how to use it. So if I just share my screen. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a bad cough still. Um a sort of chest infection. So this is my Trello. You're in my personal Trello now. I'm just gonna give Facebook a moment to update it so I can see what you see. You need all the help you can get. Well don't worry, Alison, you'll be you'll be able to go away and create a board. And if if you go and do it and you struggle with it, feel free to message or comment on here and I'll help. Um, I'll help you with it. So this is what it looks like on mine. But when you start yours, it'll be completely blank. So you can see that I've got a workspace here. So what you can do is you can create multiple workspaces. So you can use these for different things. You could categorise one for just content. You could have one for um, your team management. So all your team boards go in there. You could have one for your VA if you have a VA. Loads of different things, workspaces that you can create. I would say keep it simple though and don't create too many workspaces. So I actually have these templates set up, as you can see. I've got a template here and I've got a template there. These are templates for my clients. So you can create your own and sell your own templates. However, just a little thing that I found out yesterday is that you can't actually sell Trello templates on their own. You have to actually sell them as part of another service. So for mine, this one, I'm actually going to give it an upgrade where they get something else alongside it. They do anyway. They get um, some downloads and they get a, a little class, but I'm going to give something more. And with this one, 
um it's a you get a full system so you get the trello board but you also get two master classes and some other resources as well workbooks and stuff so there is another service alongside it which is okay but you cannot create them and sell them on their own with the free version of trello you get 10 boards i've got more than that because i um purchased but you would only have 10. so i'm going to take you into how to create your board these are your boards so you can see what i've recently viewed um i've got my own dmo on there so dmo daily method of operation you can create your to-do list like i've got one there you create daily off of, uh, method of operation your launch plans things like that there's loads and loads content banks you can use it for all sorts so how to create a board you simply click on create new board and you want to give it a name so think about what it's going to be for so say it is for lead generation oops it's not actually typing and then you can add it to a specific workspace you can customize it and choose a background i'm just going to choose that nice pinky purple one and create and this is what it will look like when i first op opened this up i was really really overwhelmed with it like what the hell do i do so from here you can change your background so if you go into show menu it's as simple as change background you can give your board a description and then you can see you've got automation and power-ups but they're more a bit more advanced if you did want to add someone to your board all you have to do is click the share button and you can email it to maybe one of your team members and add them as a member or grab the link and share it with them but you will have to approve them into the board and then how do you actually use the board so this whole thing is your board and you can create a list so your list can be anything so for example say this is a lead generation board you want may want to do a leads list okay and you may have i don't know a follow-up list whatever it is so i've spelled that wrong but it doesn't matter so you can create as many lists as you want and they will just go across and you can scroll across them and then when it, within each list you can create what you call a card so say you want to create a list of leads for your facebook group for example you can create cards for that maybe your instagram and so on when you go into your cards now so that is all that is how you create cards you just click add a card on each of your lists and you can actually drag cards across to different lists which is really really handy to have within your list you've got loads and loads of tools the first thing you want to do is add yourself as a member to your own card there's a really good reason that you want to do this and this is because if you do set dates for any tasks maybe to speak to a lead and save it you can see that it comes up that it's due tomorrow you will get a reminder of that you're not going to get a reminder unless you're set up as a member in your own card and i've been wondering why mine didn't work and now i know <laughs> so within your card there's so much you can do you can give your card a description so these are my current facebook group leads for example and then what happens is you can add comments so i don't know maybe write notes on a lead and then you can save it so you can keep on adding comments And what you can do is anyone that's on your board you can tag that member so you can see there i can tag myself if you were add a team member you can tag a team member and whatever comment you put with their tag they will be sent that message it will pop up onto their phone or their laptop so they can see they will get that notification any of your notifications will appear up here under the alarm bell so obviously i've got none because i've got no one on my boards i will do when i have my VA added later other things you can do within your trello cards is you can create labels so the best thing to do is to go over here into show menu and click on more and go to labels you can see we've got a variety of if you set this up on your pc does it feed through to your phone yes it does so what i will do at the end of the video once i've set this video up i will grab my phone and i'll show you what it looks like on my phone as well so you can see how it pulls across which will be really handy for you guys i love the way it's it can be used on phone i'd say set up your board on your laptop or your desktop
because it's bigger and better and then you can use it regularly in your phone so within your labels you could create labels for specific things so say these are you want to color a lead as an existing client you can choose a color say my brand is purple so i'm going to choose purple so existing client right and then you can label each one so maybe you've got so there's only limited colors but you can create more than one label with the same color so say i went purple again i could it's not done it has it create new label oh yeah i need to give it a title so say um hot lead for example and we go purple again create so you see i've got two purple labels and i can use both with different names so if we just go back to let me just click the menu off go back to my card over here and say i put in i wanted to put in this label you click on labels and you can see you now can click those labels onto this card and it shows up here as well which is really really handy so i know that i've got existing clients in this one and it's due on the 23rd of september they're so handy to have these labels you also have checklists so what you can do is you can create a checklist for anything so it might be your leads checklist or it might be i use it for to-do lists i use it for all sorts really and i love this because once you create your task so say task one task two you literally just type them in and then what you can do is you can tick them off when you've done them so I, it's so satisfying being able to tick off your list at the end of the day um you can actually hide checked items so delete them all once everything is complete which feels amazing you can create a date so i kind of already did this but say you have a date that you want this whole card to be set for you can create that date and time and save and obviously it will update there as you can see the colors now changed for the date so when this date you can tick it there as well when you've done it as well and you can see it's gone green when this task is due it goes yellow so if we go back into the card and i edit this date and i put it for today for example oh it's saying it's complete because i've gone for now <laughs> if we do it for 10:15. Oh, we need to untick it you can see it's overdue so it's gone red because it's overdue so it works on a system a color-coded system as well so say i put this in for pen 25 it says you soon it's changed to yellow so within your task the color coding helps because you can see what's due soon what's overdue and obviously if it's not lit up you know there's time yet before you can take that off your list also in the card you can add attachments i'm going to show you this in a different card just because i don't want it to get confusing so if you go into the instagram card for example say we wanted to make it clear that this was for instagram i don't think i have an instagram graphic <laughs> um do, 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 do. let's just add a picture of myself oh that's not that one so then that you can add attachments in here you can add as many as attachments as you want and you can see you can access them from your device your other trello picked images that you've got stored in trello so for example these are all my cards so i can go and pick content from my cards and attach them in here i can attach them from my google drive from dropbox or other um storage systems and you can see that the card has put the picture there it's put it on the cover photo which means it shows up like this you might not want it to show up like this so all you need to do is remove cover but the image will still stay within that card and you can see the image has now disappeared if we go into here and you do want a cover but maybe you want a colored coded cover if you just click on cover you can either add an, a color co uh, cover image that doesn't go into your attachments or you can simply just choose a color or that it's actually got some photos there as well but i'd go personalized and you can see now that that color now appears on this card 
if you if you don't like the look of this and all this looks a bit messy and you want to change that you can go into your cover settings just unhighlight all that and you can choose the way the cover displays so you can either have it show at the top or you can have it fully show over your whole card so if we come back out you can see now it's it looks a bit more tidier because it's taken over the whole of the card and i can see displayed clearly what this card is called so if we do it to this one it's going to look a bit tidier as well so if we just come here there we go look how tight much tidier that looks and then you can open it up and i can see all my details here my labels and my due dates and things my to-do list and things like that it just makes it so so much easier down here you can actually move content from your card to so say you want to put it into another board which are it is your full trello board so if you've got multiple boards you may want to send it to a different board so for example you remember that that list of boards that were in my workspace earlier you can send it there and oh tracy i missed that with the cover for ages and i've been able to customize it you'll see in a second what my boards look like i'm going to give you a sneak preview you can send it to another board and you can send it to a specific list within that board so for example if i go to my dmo i can put it in any of these car the, these lists that i've got on that board and i can even choose the position that it shows up so if i want it at the top i can choose position one and it will then move over there you can copy your cards as well so you can put them in other places which is really good or say you have a list and you want to copy that full list you can copy that full list as well and it will just show up there we go it, it can be duplicated and you can also move the list like i just shown just a bit more simpler and you can create these automations as well so when a card is added to the list you can choose where it goes so i could put it into follow up add that action move the card and it will go there and i just save that new rule but those are a little bit more advanced i just want to keep it basic at the moment so that is how you use your create your lists and how to edit your cards with all these different tools down the side um if you want to delete them you can just archive them and delete them and then it will disappear like it just did you can also delete these here as well so archive them and it will go and you can't get them back though once you do that so like i say once you've created them you can literally drag and drop them over now some ideas of what you can use for trello use it for so i've got my red amber green system with my to-do list so all the content and courses that i've purchased from coaches and things like that i've got stored in here for easy access amazing tracy let me know how you get on when you do your boards you can see i've got my to-do list so my red amber green system and i've got stuff that's in progress this is quite outdated i've not used it recently i need to update it and then i can drag stuff over when it's complete and then i can actually just delete them oops delete them when they're done archive there we go and clear my full checklist and obviously with your to-do tasks you can set those dates for it so you know that when when it's done when it needs to be done i've got another question am i right in thinking you can create a board and then set up cards with each board yeah so these are your boards that's your list these are your cards if that makes sense it's just so many terminology so many words so it's an example i've got my content bank here i'm in the middle of editing it so this might look overwhelming but this is what it looks like when you've got a full template set up for yourself so all those different things that i've put in here for my content you can set up a daily method of operation this is mine when it loads up my husband's there because work that i'm giving him oh let me just scroll across so i've got my daily method of operation there for my business management 
And then I have created a sales success system as well. So what this is, it's basically what I use for my product launches. And it's got loads of checklists and notes that I put on in there. So, for example, it's got a checklist in here with, oops, things to do. And then my notes for each of my businesses. And I can literally drag them over and things like that. Um, is there any other boards that I could show you? Not the minute. So, yeah, you can really, really play around with it. Has anyone got any Trello questions? Also, there's templates here. So, if you're not very creative, I am very creative, and you want some done-for-you boards, you can come and find loads of templates under all sorts of different categories in here. You can also submit a template as well. Not actually done that. Um, but if we go back to the templates, you can literally look at the different categories. So if you want to create one for marketing, it will come up with loads of marketing boards that you can use. All you have to do is open them up. So, for example, blog, blog content schedule, that's a good one. And you just click on it. tells you about all the information about the templates and then you can use the template. Let's have a look at this. So you can see someone has created a really cool template that I can now use. don't know why it's saying that about payment because I've actually already got a plan with them. I have no idea why it keeps doing that. Um, so there you can see, you know, all these that you can then go and use. So it's really good to have those template options available as well. So you can search all sorts. Um, so just see if there's any questions. No, nobody got any questions. So I hope that's helped enough for you to go away and start setting up and using Trello because it is is amazing. And you can see on the home dashboard here, it's brought up this task that I need to do. It was due two minutes ago, so it's prompting me to do that. I'm going to dismiss it because it's just a pretend one. But it's brought me up to my own work and shows me that I need to do some more market research. Like, it's due on the 28th, so I need to get that done. Are all paid? No templates are free. Or if you go in here, you can see they're free. All of those are free. You don't pay for them. They're all free for all sorts of different things. And you you to buy them um so like i say you're not supposed to sell them unless they come alongside a service so i sell the dmo one and i sell the sales success system or that one there even so i've got templates but i sell them alongside master classes and trainings and things like that so i'm not breaching their um rules Loving this organised method, but we'll need to do on my PC. I don't think a phone is. No, start on here, create on here, and then move over to your phone to actually physically use it. So I said I would show you what it looks like on my phone. So I'm going to stop sharing and do that now. Oh, I'm so glad I've given you so many ideas. And this is just the basics. Like You can take it so much further. And for me, when I learned this, it was mind-blowing as well. So I'm going to show you my phone version of Trello so you can see what I've just done on there um on that board so that lead gen board that I set up and we can see it here so you can see that board that I just set up on there and you can see all your other boards as well so it's really nice and and simple on the phone you can see all that and then you can just open them up look and it, this is what it looks like when your board is full. So you kind of get that full card list in there, which is really handy. So you can see them a bit better in more detail. So that's what it looks like on the mobile. So I hope that helps. Um, let me know how you get on using Trello. I'm excited to see. Um, good luck and thank you for joining me today. If you want to find out more tips on business management and being organised, then come and join me in my free group where I'm sharing tips all the time. In fact, today I'm going in there to talk about consistent sales and I've done this all week. 
and today I'm talking about planning consistency so more planning more strategies more organization so if you need help with that kind of stuff I'm there talking today at four o'clock about planning consistently for your business thank you so much for joining me this morning ladies so grateful to come in here and speak to you and if you watch on replay say hi let me know how you found it and obviously leave any questions if you have them and I'll be happy to help I'll see you all later. Bye.